This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, what is up? Back in another video. Hope everyone is having an amazing day today. We have another episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation. For this episode, let's try and hit 1,410 likes. Yes, you heard it right. We have another episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation. But Ray Ray, I thought you were canceling the series. I, I actually was going to cancel the series. And then a whole bunch of you guys just got super, super mad at me or super, super encouraging of me to keep on doing the series. Either way, there was a massive cry for this series to continue. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to give it an extra three or four weeks of its life see how it does if it can make a recovery then we will keep on doing it. i'm really going to be switching up the way this is filmed i know like the lighting is really really creepy looking in this video that's mostly because there is a big snowstorm outside today i was too lazy to film any of the on foots during the week like i usually do so i was stuck filming them all on the same day but the next few weeks will be crazy good i'm going to be switching up the quality just changing the format of the video and i think it's something that will bring a new life to this series and you guys will really enjoy but as you can see on Monday I wore the Air Jordan 12 flu games now I didn't have the flu except I was still balling out in the no I'm just kidding I didn't play basketball in these who am I kidding I can't even make a right hand layup boys and girls I am terrible at basketball that's why I coach it not play it but that is what I wore on Monday and then moving on to another classic black and red Air Jordan on Tuesday I wore the Air Jordan 1 bread you got a little bit dirty just a tiny bit dirty as you can see there's some mud on the toe but I could just wipe that off no problem that's the great thing about Jordan 1's they are extremely extremely easy to clean so these are gonna look brand new as soon as I get these uh, wet cloth and just wipe off all that stuff and uh, they are a great shoe excuse me I just drank a coke and I'm burping here they are a great looking shoe great 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 looking shoe if you guys are lucky enough to pick these up on September 3rd of last year when they released you probably agree with me if you guys have any of the other Jordan 1 breads you probably agree with me but to a lesser extent because the 2014 pair and the 2001 pair at least in my opinion, especially the 2014 pair, the leather does not compare. The 2001 pair, it's tough to tell because the leather is 15 years old, so I don't know what it was like when it released in 2001, but the leather on the 2016s is amazing, especially for Jordan brand. And then on Wednesday, this is a terrible decision. So as you guys know, or probably know, this week's sneaker rotation was completely decided by you guys, the viewers, the fans, the Ray Ray watching people of the internet, because I did a little voting thing on Snups, as you guys probably know and you guys voted for these as one of the top seven shoes that I was supposed to wear the negative thing about this though is that it is freezing in Winnipeg and these are literally just flying it and no other sort of padding or insulation so I freeze my feet off on Wednesday it was a terrible 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 experience that I mentioned it was a terrible experience yeah it was a terrible experience my feet were so freaking cold but I needed to fight through it because I made a promise to you guys that I would wear these and guess what guys I wore them this lighting looks so creepy it's like out of a horror movie but it's the best I could do I'm so sorry guys but on Thursday these don't look creepy these don't look like they're out of a horror movie the Air Jordan 12 French blue and uh, one thing I was doing on Thursday we had a basketball practice and we were doing this drill. If you guys are a part of a basketball team or if you're coaching basketball, I'd really, really recommend doing this drill. So lots of people struggle with being able to hit the cutter on a pass or having the confidence to hit the, the cutter on a pass because that's a tough pass and they're scared of turning over the ball. They're scared of getting their coach be mad at them or whatever the case may be. Shrink the court down. So place some cones around three feet above the three point line. So you're not allowed to jump up any higher than that and make your team make 20 consecutive passes before they're allowed to score the basketball. What they're going to be do, they're, they're going to be forced to cut through the lane because they can't uh, run back, they can't go behind you to get the pass, they can't go back to center, so they're going to have to cut through the lane. I don't know if that made any sense. That's just one thing we did on Thursday. It's a good drill. I know lots of college teams do it. We do it. Um, it's, it's a pretty good drill in terms of teaching your guys how to pass when there's tons of traffic, there's tons of hands, just making accurate passes, and more importantly, not getting nervous and staying composed when trying to make those passes but on Friday as you can see what do we wear on Friday guys I'll tell you what we wore we wore the Air Jordan 12 the Masters now these released around 10 months ago by now which is actually pretty crazy to think because it feels like these came out like two months ago maybe three months ago at most four months ago but they are a great pair of shoes I remember when I bought these I was standing in line it was early in the morning there were honestly almost no people in line. There was maybe a dozen people in line when these released. I could have bought three pairs in my size if I wanted to, but I did not know they would be this popular. In hindsight, I probably would have splashed like two grand on some pairs and resold them because I'm a terrible person. But they're going for a lot of money. But anyway, I remember this kid's mom was standing in line and she was buying a pair of shoes for her kid. 
and I was sort of wondering like maybe it's his birthday or maybe it's a Christmas present or something like that like why isn't he standing in line and then the next Jordan 12s came out the uh, the French Blues and she was standing in line again and then when the flu games came out she was standing in line again and then when the alternate 12s came out she was standing in line again so that kid's mom just buys him all the Jordan 12s and he never shows up at the store I sincerely hope that kid is in a wheelchair or something because if he is able to walk and stand in a line by himself he should really be in the line because he was a size 11 like there's not a five-year-old out there that's a size 11 like if you're a size 11 you're old enough to stand in line by yourself kids so shame on you for making your mom stand in line and mini rant on Saturday I wore the Air Jordan 11 low in this varsity red or cherry colorway this was uh, the least amount of votes I think it only got 218 but it still put it in seventh spot and I wore it on Saturday I didn't really do that much on Saturday it was a pretty busy work day at home filming videos answering emails editing videos all that great stuff the stuff that I love doing the stuff that you guys love watching so speaking of stuff that you guys love watching I have a whole bunch of really cool videos coming out over the next couple of weeks so make sure to tell your friends about the channel if they enjoy sneaker content oh my goodness we are looking at some ugly feet tell them to subscribe to the channel but on Sunday I lost a bet with you guys I told you if you could hit I think uh, well if you could vote these into the top seven I'd wear them that's what I said and no one wants to look at my feet so let's cover them with some nicer looking shoes the Yeezys and the Hyperdunks. Yeah, I had to put Yeezys in a video. It was just completely coincidence. They were just the two shoes closest to me. But I did wear flip-flops, or wore, I did wear flip-flops with no socks and basketball shorts in my skinny chicken legs. They look even worse from the camera angle right now. My legs aren't that skinny, I promise you guys. But anyway, some nice shoes there so you don't have to stare at my legs. I was freezing outside. Thankfully, I was only outside for around 10, 15 minutes of flip-flops. It was a terrible decision. You guys made me do it. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Until then, peace.